Everybody and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host Fred Schultz and uh, got a great show for you guys tonight. Um, everybody knows I love spreading paintball and I've got some terrific guys on tonight that are uh, part of an organization called the Filipino Paintball Worldwide and um, these are some pretty cool guys and I am looking very very much forward to talking with them and uh, you know, they're going to tell us a little bit about the organization, and, uh, you know, we're going to, hey, Ryan Courtney's watching. How you doing, buddy? And uh, anyhow, we want to we wanna really help them uh, spread the word about their organization, and I know it's huge, so um, I'm really looking forward to bringing them on here. Um, got a few things i got to mention first. Um, you know, first of all, right off the top, you know, today is December 7th, as, as all of us in the U.S. know. Um, Many years ago, this was the day that uh, Pearl Harbor was struck. And uh, so, you know, our, our prayers still go out to all of those guys that were lost in that. And uh, actually, everybody was lost in World War II. But Pearl Harbor, um, this day, December 7th, kind of means something to us. And uh, I just wanted to throw that out there that they will never be forgotten, at least not by me. That's for sure. Then I, I want to... Tell everybody, I had a great weekend this last week, and I was lucky enough to go down to uh, Gladiator Paintball Park down to San Luis Obispo, and uh, uh, Mr. Bobby Poole owns it, and he was very, very, very gracious. He had a great, great time. I was down there with Mean Gene. Um, everybody, Mean Gene gave me a shirt. Autococker.com right there. Autocockerparts.com. And believe me, this guy's got the parts. You, you know, if you're an Autococker fan, you need something, get a hold of this guy. He he will hook you up. He has got it going on. And why they call him Mean Gene, I don't know. The guy's always smiling every time I see him. So uh, don't have a clue. But uh, great, great guy. And then I got to hang out with Stefan. So I'm, I, you know, I call him Gumby, but I'm probably going to blow his last name. Sanator Sola. Anyhow, he was there. Uh, we call him Gumby, a terrific person. He had his whole family there. He had his kids. We got to play paintball with his kids. Uh, his wife, Julianne, what a doll. Took a million pictures out there. Some very, very cool pictures uh, that you can uh, see. Uh, she's got them all over the internet right now. Some great pictures and an absolutely great time. So tonight, you know, I'm going to have um, Mr. Edgar Mathis, Mr. Nick Banta, Mr. Will Arniston, and I am also, I was told that Freddie wasn't going to make it, Ferdy, but Ferdy Piano is going to be with us, and that is so cool. I'm very, very happy that, that he got to make it. I, I feel bad now he didn't put his name on the crawl, because I darn near put it on, but they said, well, we're not sure that he can make it tonight, you know, but but he has made it, and I'm very, very excited. I'm looking very, very much, very, very much looking forward to talking to him, and uh you're going to love these guys. These guys are some very, very cool guys. So um, I, I just came and say enough about them. You know, next week I, I'm going to have a show talking about uh, my last weekend down in San Luis Obispo. So you're going to want to tune in. I'm going to actually have Gumby and Mean Gene and, and David, the Reaper Justin on. Uh, it should be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, let me get my shout out so we can get to this one tonight because, you know, I can't wait for you guys to meet these guys. Um, you're gonna you're gonna like them just as much as I did. These guys uh, they hit it out of the park. You know we're we want to build paintball. We talk paintball. 
and these guys are great at it. So, so I'm going to give my shout outs here, but it looks like my, my buddy over there, Mr. William Bailey is falling asleep. So let me pull yeah. Billy up real quick. What's going on, Billy? Oh, I was just sharing the show with a bunch of people. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I got to give the shout outs real quick, but you know, I thought I'd throw your pretty face up here real quick while I do this. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yep. Love it. This will be, be a pretty interesting show, I think. Oh, yeah, these guys are so cool. You know, I mean, um, I got to talk to Edgar. You know, I had Edgar on last week, and and you know, in the green room beforehand here, we talked to Will a little bit. You know, yep. you know these, you know these these guys are a class act. I uh, I am very very happy that we got them on tonight, and very happy that we can help push the organization because you know how. Yeah. I like building paintball, you know, and these guys got the right attitude and they definitely got the push. Yep. So, um, yeah, matter of fact, yeah, there's like 30 people watching already. <laughs> we yeah, just started has, the show. <laughs> paintball has a way of uniting everybody and, and making friends. So it, it does, you know, and, and these guys, I'm glad that we're making friends with these guys. These yeah. guys yeah, I, I just like cool guys. You know, and these guys are cool. Okay. Let me get my shout outs real quick so we can pull them up and then, uh, we'll turn the show over to them, man. Let them hang out. So, <laughs> Anyhow, I start always every week, bar none, with Mr. Tim Schloss, uh, Gateway Paintball. You know, Timmy's going to have the last of the WCPL tournaments yeah. this year. It's going to be in October, and it's in St. Louis. Man, you get a chance. That's the one you're going to want to go to because that yeah. is a very, very cool field. It just the oh, field yeah. blows me away. Yeah, we walked. Uh, we walked to his new two two new fields that we'll be using, and we roped them all off and. Yeah, pick up the areas where we want to put in the chronographs and the air station and the parking and staging and everything. So it's really looking good. Yeah, he he called me last night and he was telling me all about it. He was all jacked up about it and he was yeah yeah yeah. So yeah. it was uh it was pretty cool. Yeah. So anyhow, so um then I always have to say hi to Mr. Dan and John Colby. Uh, yeah. Dan uh, had Air America back in the day and now he has. Immortal Air, Immortal Air. And my, been my sponsors for over 31 years. Long, long time. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool people. Then, none other than Mr. Bud Orr. Bud Autococker Orr. I think I'll go there with it, you know, because, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a couple of them hanging up there, too. Are you in a store? Oh, no, that's right. That's your bedroom. I forgot. <laughs> no, it's my... Uh... Wall of War. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love it, man. Mr. Butterworth, he watches us every week. Extremely good friend. Love the guy. That's about all I can say. And then Mr. Tom K, Airgun Designs. Rainy and Juby Boucher had paintball news back in the day. A lot of you now don't, don't really know about the paintball news. But, you know, the reason that I mentioned these guys at the beginning is these guys worked extremely hard to make paintball what it is today, period. Oh, and, yeah. you know... Hey, am I right, Billy? You're right. He, he yeah. had uh, free newspapers that came out, what, twice a month? Twice yeah. a month. And, and yeah. you could find out what happened, what was yep. coming up, where the fields were, you yeah. know, what Field was new. directory, all uh, the news, yeah. all the product. It was an awesome magazine. It was absolutely very, very cool. And then Randy Camilla. Randy had uh, APG. He was the editor for APG yeah. back in the day. He gave me my very first of uh, many cover shots what on the magazine. That? Yep. Mr. Jerry Braun had uh, Paintball Sport Magazine back in the day. And Jerry oh, yeah. actually owns the field um, that the New York tournament is going to be on. Yep. And uh, yeah, and that's pretty cool. That's what I'm really looking Ponta forward Rosa. to going to it, too. Yep. The Ponta Rosa. <laughs> that's right, baby. I love that field. Damn. Yeah. Hey, the name's even cool, you know? I don't like but, the hey, hey, it's fitting, too. It's a big field. <laughs> Very yeah, fitting. Run it. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> And then Mr. Ross Alexander. Ross Alexander had line SI back in the day. He made the Bushmaster. Um, he made my, I, I still have it actually. It was the very first uh, tournament gun that I played with back in the day. Just yeah. absolutely terrific. And I mentioned Mr. Jim Lively. Jim Lively had Lively Productions. Back in the yeah. day, there was two tournaments he did not want to miss. And that was Jerry Brown's World Cup and Jim Lively's Masters in Tennessee. Yeah. Man, those were, uh, they were just huge events and they were like homecoming. You right. go there, it, it was like just going to see your family, you know, all the teams and the people that you knew, these were the meeting places for them. Just so cool, absolutely loved it. And then I always mention uh, Mark Gong, 
Junior and, and Mark, his father, and Jaden Gong. You know, um, Mark and guys like Jamie Connolly, um, prime suspects up there. You know, these guys work extremely hard to bring the youth into this, uh, to paintball. And that's something that we need right now. This is what keeps paintball growing is, is things like this. And, and like the guys I'm going to bring on tonight, you know, these guys I'm going to bring on tonight are pretty cool about that too. And then last but not least, I mentioned my buddy Gino from Belkin. Now, I mention Gino every week because people do not see what this guy does behind the scenes. He he supports so many people and does so much behind the scenes, but he doesn't blow his horn. So, you know, I'm out here, you know, I toot his horn for him. Um, he never asks me, never pays me, nothing. I just say it because I just believe in people that are really good for paintball and work really, really hard for it. And, and he's just one of them, period. So... All right, Billy, I got to tell you, I'm excited now to bring on the Filipino paintball worldwide guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got to tell you, I, I, I've been excited about this, you know, ever since last week, you know, we, we had uh, um, Edgar on and I'm like, oh, man, that's going to be so cool. And, you know, and uh, and now here we are. Now it's going to be time. And, you know, I'm going to start with Edgar, too. That week went by fast. Yeah. There's Edgar. <laughs> I, you know, I was watching the green room. I said, I'm going to wait till this guy stands up, and then I'm going to put him on live. <laughs> hey, uh, you, you caught me off guard, but I was ready. <laughs> I, lo I love it, man. That was pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. What do you say we bring on? You know, Ferdy made it tonight, too. Nice, nice. He, yeah. I, I should pull him up because he's got an empty chair right now. Uh-oh, he's sitting down. There he goes. Yeah, there we go. We're going to get him laughing here. What's going on, Ferdy? Oh, look at him. <laughs> What's up, bud? <laughs> right on, man. And then let's bring on Will here, huh? Oh, my boy, Will. What's up? <laughs> no. I've, I'm just going to slam it. Will. We're going to bring everybody up here, man. Nick, come on in. Yep. Nice. Nick. Uh, Kit, you're up. Hello, everybody. Kit's on. Wow. Wow! All the way from the Philippines. Where's he at? <laughs> you, you, you know uh, that internet in the Philippines is a little slow. Oh, hey, prepaid. He's there he is. Uh, oh, where the, there, there, you know, maybe there might be a blackout. Uh, oh, is it nighttime there? <laughs> kid, kid, is that you behind the mask? He's somewhere there. There he is. There you go. Oh, he looks like he's at the field. He is at yeah. the field. Oh, very, very cool. You know what? I'm going to start with Edgar because, you know, Edgar's kind of the tip of my spear on this show. Um, so, Edgar, I want you to, yeah, you know, and each one of you guys, I want you to think now because I'm going to go to each and every one of you and ask you guys how you got started in paintball before we start talking about your organization. So, Edgar, you're up to bat, buddy. How'd you get started I, in paintball? I got started. Uh, one of my friends from the Marines um, just got out and he said, let's try paintball uh, on, on his birthday. And we did. And uh, I went and I went and bought my gears. I bought my tip men all geared out. And to find out Black Sundays were playing and they spanked that crap out of us. <laughs> <laughs> so you rented the first time out though, right? You rented the equipment? No, I never read it. I was just excited. I said, I went and bought my gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was all decked out, got my camos, got my Scott, uh, bent, no, my vent, vent goggles. And oh, I love vents. Yeah, I was sponsored by vents for many, many years. Uh, great goggle system, that's for sure. Well, I, we thought we were the hot stuff because we had the new gears. And we got spanked. <laughs> you know, but that made you better too, didn't it? It did. It did. It did. You know. Yeah. And, and it was fun. We had we had a blast. Yeah. You know, I all, all the time. Ever since I started playing, I was like playing against guys that that I thought were better than I was because you know it always brings you up. You know, it's it was never any fun going out and shooting newbies. So. Exactly. Well, hey, we got button. I was in the newbie because I had my yeah. gear. You know. Yeah, 
Yeah, that you know, it's like you go to a job and the, the guy has to see your tools before he hires you and everything comes out nice and shiny. You probably don't get the <laughs> job. Because <laughs> you, know? you just left the hardware store, baby. <laughs> you know? yeah. so. that, that was the case. I yep. have the saying, I, I would never go in a boat where my boat shoes is uh, uh, worse looking than the guy that owns a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We got Bud Orr watching us right now, too. So, hey, Bud, what's going on, brother? So, okay, that was pretty good, Edgar. Um, you know, Ferdy, you're, he's right below you there. Ferdy, how'd you get uh, started in paintball, buddy? Oh, geez. You know, one of the things is like Filipinos, right? So we all get together. And we were like, okay, let's go play this paintball sport. I'm like, what the heck is it, right? So a bunch of friends from Queens, you know, we were about 17 years old and uh, typical, just like Edgar, right? Filipinos, we got to have our own gear, right? We got to go out there. We, you know, we got to look good. You know, we got, we got all, you know, auto mags, you know, back then when we were 17, you couldn't get a gun, right? You couldn't get a, you, you couldn't get a, a, a paintball gun. You had, to, you had to go to somebody that was 18 in order for you to buy the gun, right? So, you know, a buddy of ours said, you know what, let's go off. Let's go, I'll go buy everybody some guns, right? So we went out and, you know, and then we went out to a field and we thought we were all cameled out just like Edgar, thought that we knew what we were doing, right? And <laughs> little, little, did, little did we know, you know, that little rock that you're tripping over, you know, it's, it's somebody's using that tree. Yeah, so, so just like Edgar, we just started out in the woods and a bunch of friends getting together and going out to a field and, you know, and just having a great time. Wow. So where was that at? Where'd you start at? Oh, I don't, first e field? I don't even remember the name of the field. Jeez, oh, come on, so you're old. not that old. Oh, I am. I'm 51. So it, it, yeah, it, see, it, you're still a kid to me. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I do have gray hair. I just dyed better than uh, Nick <laughs> Well, <laughs> at least you yeah. got here. <laughs> 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 they tell me I'm like five oils. Five years. This is fake hair. This is fake hair. <laughs> I, I, well, if you could give yeah. me the address where you purchased that, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'll put the fake hair on. <laughs> you, you know, Nick's old enough to probably remember where we, where where he started playing. Well, you know, I'm going to hit Nick up next because he mentioned hair. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, it's just my fake hair, but um, I got started uh, playing paintball back in 88. Uh, I know you mentioned the, one of the fields earlier, and that's uh, I started out in uh, Jerry Braun's uh, field in New York, Survival New York. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, I started there 88, um, and then, you know, I played a few, a few times, and uh, I got basically hooked in the sport, and... Um, uh, that was 88. A, a few years later, I started playing tournaments. Um, you know, and then I met uh, uh, Ferdy over here uh, a few years later. You know, we were competing. He was playing with a bunch of his uh, Filipino friends. I was the lone Filipino uh, player in the nobody team I started him. with. Nobody liked <laughs> Nick back then, right? <laughs> nobody still liked then Nick. Nobody, nobody does still. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> we like you, man. That's that's what happens when you shoot them. Yeah, they don't I like guess, you. you know. <laughs> Jealousy is overwhelming on this. No <laughs> yeah. All right, Will, you're up to bat. We're not going to leave you sitting out there. How'd you get started, buddy? Well, I started 2000. Uh, I work in a big plant called Heinz. Heinz Ketchup. Yeah. I uh, worked. I uh, worked there for 18 years, and. Uh, you know, on Friday, my boss was like, hey, you want to play paintball? And I was like, what is that? You know, being fresh out of the boat, I don't even know what the heck paintball is. So he's like, well, you get to shoot me. I was like, oh, cool. Sounds fun. So <laughs> we went out of the woods. He gave me a stingray. And uh, from then I was hooked. Yeah, from then I was hooked. I, the next the next day, it was it was Saturday. I went to the flea market and I actually looked for a gun and I found a uh, Spider PL Plus. From there, every weekend, I was playing every weekend. The only time it stopped me, Florida, we always get rain. Yeah, That's yeah. It. Yeah, you know, it's it's addicting too. You know, once you once you start, it's just, uh, it's definitely oh, hard yeah. to stop. You want it to, to rock on. Am I right, Billy? Yeah, that first year I played, I was there every weekend and, uh, the place played uh, two sessions a day is on Saturday and Sunday. And 
And then there were private groups during the week, and I was there every damn game. I, I missed – once I found out about the plays, I m- might have missed like six or seven games throughout that whole year. You know, it was the nonstop. Somebody, Nick, somebody wants you for prez, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, you, you got know. hair. You're in. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, I think you get you need to wear a uh, shirt. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, paintball great again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you need to use. I, I got them in blue, too. You know, I've got I them love it. Sides. <laughs> I love it. Well, Ryan Courtney says, it's so hard to sit here and not smile and laugh. I think in many ways, we are all very similar stories starting out at paintball events. Yeah. You know, Ryan, you're absolutely right. And that's why I ask everybody that comes on the show. Oh, Nick, was it something I said about your hair? <laughs> <laughs> he popped off. <laughs> He's on prepaid, too. Come back, Nick. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Maybe he's like uh, our president. He just forgot where he's at. Maybe he's out campaigning. You might be right. Yeah. <laughs> he Fred, might have took, he, he might you know have took it, it to heart. He, he, you know what it is, Fred? His wife he's actually found out that he really, he's really didn't not. retire from paintball. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my server got my server got hot with all the you know like boats uh, coming my way. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm no, it you. couldn't handle it. Couldn't no, handle no, it. No, 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 Nick. You got to tell the truth. Your wife just found out that you didn't really retire. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm in the basement. Yeah, she's in. She's in the bedroom. So you know. <laughs> he yeah. is a Democrat. <laughs> I, 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 Freddie knows, or everybody, everybody I play with knows. I retire every uh, Sunday afternoon, and I'm back every Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> so, you know, like, I mean, everybody knows that. His wife is, you know, is killing him on the, uh, you know what? He's supposed to retire. You know, and like you said, it's an addicting sport. She sees it. Is. The <laughs> every week. I'll bet you 90% of paintballers have to get home before their wives just hide the packages that come in the mail. <laughs> 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 and and all the packages are only fifty dollars to a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to your neighbor's uh, house all the time. You got to pay off the neighbor to keep quiet. You know, oh, you, you know how we all put like our, our our gear behind us a little bit, you know. And I I do have to admire Will's, you know, like case behind him. Did you get that exactly. made? Uh, you know, did you get the hand made? Hey, there, there's got to be a show off in every show. You know that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're just jealous, Will. That's all. <laughs> yeah. well, if, we, if we need goggles, we know where to go. Uh, he, got, he, got, he got an amazing collection. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. But, I, but we like the, the Montrezer behind you. And yeah. There's a good story behind that, Fred. Also. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, you know, Jennifer, you know, is a very good friend of mine. Um, I, I never got a chance to meet Tim, obviously, but uh, uh, Jennifer and Frank, her husband, you know, she's a matter of fact, when I <laughs> when I took and I put on that I was going to have a show about the Filipino paintball worldwide. She texted me right away and she goes, Fred, you know, I'm Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, this, this jersey, I, you know, it was actually made for her. Right. And uh was made for her obviously you know i'm not a medium right so uh you know it, it, it was it was made for her and you know when we presented the jersey to her at, at world cup you know tears were you know coming down and you know that's what it's really about you know that's she's why a we, dog. and that's yeah. why will created this group and i think it's growing is because it's just uh you know when you look at people like jennifer montressor and you know all that she's doing now for paintball and her, what her son had done you know, yeah. we want to carry that kind of legacy, you know, and it's really about, you know, building a community and, you know, we can get more into it later on, but, you know, that's really what Filipinos uh, Paintball Worldwide is about. Well, you know, you just, you just kind of let into it right there, Ferdy. Um, you know, I want to, I'll get back in a minute, but I want to jump up to Edgar. Um, Edgar, what made you, cause you, you guys all had to figure to join this group at a certain time. So you had to see something about it first before you joined it. it. Isn't just something that you all went in at the exact same time. Am I right? Uh, I... No. 
No, nope, uh -oh. lost him. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, it was something like that. Um, what, how it got started was, you know, because I, I was playing with the OG Iron Man, and uh, I was posting OG Iron Man stuff on the Filipino group. And I just kind of like, what am I doing? I mean, it's cool. It was cool stuff, right? Then, and, and you know, I saw what Will was doing. He was like going to all the tournaments with Filipino pride. And, uh, and, and it was a cool thing. And, and so, you know, it just, that's how, I don't know. The, 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 the thing is, I've never met Will and I've never met Nick. But we just got that strong bond in, and we got the same goal. And just kind of uniting everyone. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, that that's like my friend Tracy Perez says, you know, it, it's paintball strong, you know, and and uh, like I always say, you know, each one of us individually can do something. But if we all work together, we can really do a lot. And, and you know, that's what I think your organization and the same thing, you know, Bill and I always strive for, too, is uh, we try to get everybody to work together because uh, that's what's really going to keep our sport expanding from where it is right now. Exactly. So, exactly. so Ferdy, when did you get in? First to Ferdy. Sorry about that kid was trying to contact me. He's uh he said his signal's really bad where he is. Oh that oh that was your phone? Uh yeah, that was my phone. Oh, oh, so I started dancing to it and then you turned <laughs> it off. And, oh, you know, interestingly enough, it's a it's a something similar to Facebook uh Messenger, but it's actually in Asia. Um but uh you know I, I you know, I, I, I've known Kit and I've known Ed for a long time, right? And uh, one of one of um, one of our teammates is, is Richie Lopez, uh, who's very big into the Filipino paintball scene, uh, and is actually probably one of the catalysts to get this going. Uh, it was, you know, friends with Will. Will decided to go back into the back to the Philippines. So when I decided to move back to the U.S. Uh, about eight months ago, because I was living in the Philippines, I started playing paintball again, and then COVID hit. And, um, you know, Richie introduced me to Will. And then when I come home, I said, hey, Will, let's 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 do something, right? And then Will's like, let's do it. And he had, he had been doing it for a while. So I started really getting into Filipino paintball worldwide about, I would say probably around February, last uh, this year you know, how did you hear about it through through richie lopez and through, through richie, richie and then i met will and a lot of the guys back at home you know uh, back in the philip when i say the home it's the philippines you know they had known will they had played will with will uh on some teams in you know some speedball teams because woods ball is not very big over there in scenario and um so they had played on some teams uh where they played tournaments in singapore malaysia uh, Thailand, uh, Taiwan. And so, uh, you know, Will is really the catalyst. And I think, you know, he'll, he'll be able to tell the story how we all decided to get together and start to really start to push his movement. Well, Will, that's a, a hell of a lead in for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to remember. Well, I started, I started my business 2013. Will Spain ball here in Jacksonville. And um, there was only myself as Filipino playing here in Jacksonville. So I was like, okay, let me open a group, see how many Filipinos out there that's playing paintball. So I opened a group 2013. I found four Filipinos in one in Tampa, one in Orlando, um, one in Miami. So I put them in a the group. There was only four in the group. Then all of a sudden, it turns into 10, 20, 50. And now Edgar and I will be approving every what, five to 10 yeah. every week. People are trying to get into that, uh, you know, they're trying to get into that group from Filipinos. That's how it who, started. Who actually started it? They, I mean, I you actually started the group of yourself then, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, Bill, the guy right above you there, <clears throat> he started uh, him and his friends back in the day. They what what was the name of your group, Bill? Old school paintball guns. Yeah, just old school paintball guns. Yeah. yeah anyhow, he started out. There was him and a few guys wanted to get together and, and do like what you guys did, too. 
how many members are there now? Uh, it's it's over eleven thousand. Wow. Yep. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I think that's what you guys will end up getting in the future too, though. You know, I mean, um, right oh, now, you know, pe people are listening to you guys, are absolutely loving you guys right now. You know, you guys, you guys are the face of paintball. You guys are what what it takes to keep building a sport like this. You know, and uh, Nick, we haven't forgot about you. You know, um, um, <laughs> yeah, anybody would hear I I am be, but anyhow, um, <laughs> go ahead, buddy. You're up. Uh, how did how did you see about it, and how did you get it? Bill, don't tease me about my hair. Go ahead. Man. How you doing, buddy? Well, I got you know like um I've been I've been playing uh, the local scene here in uh, New Jersey, New York, New Jersey, Maryland area, um and you know just about the beginning of uh, I think last uh, late late last year or beginning of this year, Ferdinand uh, contacted me and uh, he's like, hey, I'm coming back to the the U.S. You know, let's play some paintball. And I was like, okay, you know, he, I've known I, I've known Ferdy f uh, since uh, early 2000s. You know, we like I said, we were competing against each other, and he's like, oh, I'm coming back, and I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, come back whenever, you know. And, and he he knew that, so I was like, all right. Next thing you know, he, he's like, you know, we're we're in touch uh, uh, almost every other day, and you know, he's like, oh, it looks like this guy's serious is in coming back. So I'm like, all right, when you come back, let's get something done. You know, we started uh, talking about paintball. We started seeing each other. And then the one thing that, that's crazy is, um, you know, while well, we were getting ready for uh, Philly, you know, that's one of the things that we got ready for, uh, this uh, Philly tournament. And that's how I met Will. But prior to that, he introduced me to Edgar. Here's one one uh, crazy part of me meeting Edgar. I asked Ferdy, Ferdy, do you know where Edgar is from in the Philippines? And uh, Ferdy is like, he's from Baguio. You know, Baguio is like a, uh, the summer capital of the Philippines. It's a small town. It's like, I mean, a really small town. You know, and I'm like, all right, you know, I, I'm not sure if he's from Baguio. But so the one time me, Ferdy, and Edgar were talking, I asked Edgar where he's from. And he says he's from Baguio. And I was just starstruck, you know. I mean, he's my he's my OG legend. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's a good guy. So nah, a small a small town. I was from a small town too. It had "Welcome to" and "Come back again" on the same sign. So you know, <laughs> yeah. that's a small town, guys. Yep, yep. <laughs> and, 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 and have a fun. You know, and I'll add to Nick's story about it. Right, and he had called me up, and you know, this is when um, and Nick, you know, Edgar has a long story with the guys from Dynasty. Right, and uh, they they had named one of the headbands after Edgar, right? And Nick hit me up, and he goes, "Hey, did you know that they named the they named the headband after a Filipino guy? His name's Edgar." And I was like, "Edgar, that's mm. a really good friend of mine." And he's like, "No way!" I'm like, "Yeah, he's a really good friend of mine." He's like, "No," and then then all of a sudden now these two are best friends. They you know, kind of yeah, yeah. call each other without me around and stuff like that. That is so cool. You know, you know, Nick Edgar would make a good VP, a good, a good vice president. You know, right? so, uh, just, just yeah. the way it's worth. You yeah, know, nah, I, I, out there. You, know, you got Purdy, Secretary of State, Will I, Treasurer. You I got everybody in the answer. cabinet over here. I got everybody. You, you guys are all part of it. <laughs> I love it, man. You got, you guys all know Bud Orr, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bud's. Uh, Hey, you should you should try to pull Bud up if you could, Bill. See if you oh. come on and say hi to these guys. Yeah, uh, this this is a great group of guys right here. So and I should and and Fred, I'm sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I should have posted the picture that I had with you and Tom K in the golf cart when we were at the Woods Bowl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, I remember that one. I took a couple. Of, I I seen one picture they got on there with uh, Tim Schloss too. Yeah, I love I, that I Tim Schloss. Yeah, I like, oh, yeah, it was that was pretty funny, man. I loved it. So, Will, you were telling me that you guys are, you guys have uh, people in in many different countries. Now, this is, you know, let me say real quick, you know, this these guys are all having a Filipino organization, but it's just not for the Philippines. It's not just for the U.S. This is something, you know, if you guys, wherever you are around the world, because they watch us in like eight or nine different countries, they watch your show. So wherever you guys are, you know, um, get a hold of these guys, because, you know, what you can do is the, the bigger you guys make this organization 
and the more spread out, the more you guys can do for the sport of paintball. And you see Absolutely. these guys right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, let me start by saying I wouldn't even have you guys on if I didn't think you were good for the sport. You know, I don't badmouth anybody, but I just don't give them any time either. You know, so I think you guys are all great. And, you know, poor Nick, uh, he jumped on last week because Edgar gave out like a, a thousand. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Edgar was giving out like a thousand invites, so I'm like, <laughs> so I, I got, I got to meet Nick last week, so that was pretty cool. Um, but Will, tell us, you know, you you were talking earlier about, you know, you guys have uh, people in a lot of different countries right now, or you're oh, expanding. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We actually have, you know, they've been emailing me, PMing me about, you know, how to get into this Filipino uh, team here in the U.S. We have <laughs> players from Australia. And um, we have players from South Africa. And there are, there, you know, basically those guys always keep in touch with me. They all want to know how to get here in the U.S., stuff like that. Just, you know, their dream is to play NXL, you know. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. He was there. <laughs> yeah, he was there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you know, like like one of my uh, one of my best friend Richie. You know, I was telling you earlier, he was just he was just here. You know, mm -hmm. um, I met I met him 2015, and you know, I left when I was young in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been 28 years since I uh, since I came. You know, since I left, so I met this guy here. I met you know the team. Um, from then, I was I was keeping in touch with them. Yeah, so Richie, you you said Richie just he just left, but he came to play paintball with you, right? Correct, yeah. Correct. And he where'd he come from? Philippines. Yeah, but whereabouts in the Philippines? Uh, Manila. You know? Yeah, it's in Manila. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's in Manila. Okay, yeah, because yeah, you said something about he was gonna be quarantined for like yeah, five he, days or he was quarantined. He was he was thinking about quarantine like five days. It ended up being longer than that because of this uh this new what all my uh what is that the new, new variant uh, new variant new virus yeah <laughs> wait a minute i'm going back on next week uh how, how many days is it now i need to know how many days i'm leaving i'm leaving i think it's still five days because richie left here on the second he just got out today Okay. Yeah, he just got out today. So, where where did you guys play when he came here? I'm sorry. Uh, where where did you guys go play when he came here? We actually um we played at a World Cup. Every one of those Filipino wanted to play World Cup. That's oh, cool. Dream. Yeah, that's their dream to play. That's you know to play World Cup. And, uh, or or any NXL event. I mean. You know, one of the harder things in Asia, right, is that, you know, speedball, you know, we're all on a bunch of islands, right? So there's not a whole lot of wood ball. There's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a the speedball, you can set up a field anywhere, right? So this is right. right. And so like in Asia, speedball tends to be the predominant, uh, mo uh, the, the predominant, uh, what Trump predominantly play over there. And I think, you know, what's what's actually happening with Edgar is there's a movement towards mechanical, right? And, yes. you know, we're, we're pushing, you know, I'm actually going back and Kit was supposed to be on the call and we were talking about things that we were, you know, everything trying to get the younger generation out involved where, you know, we're looking at jelly ball first, right? And moving yep. them up from jelly ball, to, you know, to 50, cal you know, and really like what Will does at his field is that he understands the age and you know it's a jelly ball and then 50 count so that's something that we're, we're looking to do in asia is to kind of bring back the whole mechanical scene because that's really what brought you know in my opinion that brought a lot of us back into paintball uh myself included and and nick is like we're super excited about you know the future uh of mechanical because as we're getting older you know i don't want to be running around diving I, I i don't even dive anymore anyway so you know, you know, and and so you know, Will's Will's getting his knee re rehabbed right now. 
Nick is the Real. So, you know, for us, it's really about, you know, growing the sport both mechanically and, and really kind of talking about how, you know, you know, when you look at the Filipinos, there are forefathers, you know, with, with, with uh, you know, whether it's Edgar, whether it's Catfish, you know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the players that came before us and we got to give them, you know, they're just due, whether it's Quincy Boyes, uh, JP Augustine, right? You know, these, these players, Rocky Newth, you know, interestingly enough, um, you know, and, and somebody like Kit, you know, I know that Kit's trying to get on, you know, you know, Kit can, you know, you don't lose Kit, he can talk about how he brought paintball to Asia, right? And how he started the movement 20 something years ago, right? And then, you know, Will and Richie kept the movement going, right? And now right. It, it's to the point where, you know, Quincy Boyes is at a mechanical, like Dynasty got together this past weekend and they played a mechanical tournament, you know, all- I love mechanical. Right. Mechanical to me is mechanical or pump, but I'm a big mechanical guy. I love yeah. it. So, so they just played a, a uh, you know, the Dynasty guys all got the Dynasty alumni all got together and they just played a mechanical tournament. And that's Quincy's wearing his Philippine jersey. He's finding out in the pit that former teammates of his are actually half Filipino. Right? Yeah, well, that's cool. And he didn't know that. And so he's sitting there going, oh, my God, right? And so they're like, where can we get that jersey? Where can we be part of this? And so, you know, when we, you've got like ambassadors like Quincy and Edgar and Kit and Nick and Will, it's really about making this sport, you know, and Richie over in, in the Philippines and Leo, who are really pushing our sport, you know, in, in the Philippines. Right. And then globally, you know, really Will is taking this to a global space. Yeah. Hey, well, Kit, I wanna, here. Let, let me introduce you guys to a, to another real paintball legend. I'm sure all of you guys know Mr. Bud Orr. Absolutely. How you doing, Bud? Absolutely. Hey guys, let me tell you, it's an honor being on the same program with you guys. This is Thank this you. is so awesome to me. Yeah, all of you, you're legends. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, you're, you're, you're probably you're, you're probably the tallest legend on here. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. There's some neat guys on here. <laughs> But you know, the, the, the kit right there is actually live right now from the Philippines. I think he's oh, frozen. Wow. He's frozen that's, that's awesome. He's a little bit choppy, but yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, kit, um, kit uh, can you hear us at all? Pardon me? Kit, he's can right, you hear us? <laughs> no, I think Kit's choppy. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't think he can. But you know, at least we get to see. Kid, if you can hear me, pull your mask down so we can see what you look like real quick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We got. But anyway, you know, Kit is actually responsible for bringing Dynasty in 2003 for an oh, exhibition wow. match with the local Filipino teams in the Philippines and some oh. and also some Guam players, Guam teams. Uh, he brought the core. Um, he brought Dynasty there in 2003, and I'm I'm right here. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, go ahead, kid. Jump in, man. Oh, I can hear you. It's uh, choppy. Yeah. Well, anyways, like I said, you know, kids was responsible for promoting um, the first air ball in the Philippines, and uh, oh. a, and after okay, that, just really it just took over. Oh, it's you know, you know. Yeah, Kit, I, I wish we could hear you. Yeah, it's real choppy right now. We got a good picture of you. Um, but there, you oh, there we go. go. Yeah. Hey, all right. Right on, buddy. Right on. You know, we appreciate very much you jumping in and, and coming on tonight. Uh, oh, we just lost them. So. You know, and honestly, Fred, you know, to piggyback off what Edgar was saying, I don't think, you know, Philippine paintball would be where it is. If it wasn't for for Kit, right, and really doing what he had done, bringing, you know, at the time the number, you know, they're still the number one team there, right? But one of the number one teams uh, to to Asia, right? And it, it really sparked the movement, right? 
It right. really sparked the movement, whether, you know, whether tournaments were in Thailand or were they in Taiwan, but like really Kit was that catalyst that brought a lot of the Asian community together. Cause well, I'm going to try to have him on again. Um, you know, there's got to be a way that we can, uh, you know, get some kind of connection that we can bring him in. Hey, Ferdy, hey, are you on direct connection with him on the phone? You know, I, I am trying, but, you know, the hard part yeah. is. Because um, I hear I, a feedback. Well, I think he's trying to get on with a laptop. If He might be able to get on perfectly with just his phone. A lot of times. No, actually, phone, I think he was using his phone. Okay. okay. He was using his phone. I think, yeah. you know, the internet where he's located. Yeah. Where his field, where his field is located, and he's had the field 20 some odd years. Uh -huh. So if you guys know Great Adventure or any of those kind of parks, right? Um, the Philippines has a park very similar to that, and he put his field in there. Oh, okay. Oh, very he's, cool. He's got his paintball field in, a, in an amusement park, if you will. Oh, yeah. very cool. Tim, Tim Schloss had his in uh, Six Flags for a long time. Yeah, yeah, for a while he did. Yeah, Tim Schloss got a heck of a field back there. But you've been to Tim's field too, right? Oh, yes, yes. I played there yeah. back, at, back in the day. Field. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Well, you're going to be playing playing there again this year, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here I am with a couple of legends, by the way. Oh, my God. Hey, those people look in there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, someone's about to dance. Who are those two guys with Nick? <laughs> that was <laughs> hey kid. Can we, can we talk to you? One, one guy's a legend. Uh, he's in the panel. Yeah, Bud Orr. Yeah. Good with a Bud Orr. Yep. Can you, can you, can you, Bud, did you see it? Nick just showed up a kid? picture that he took at the World Cup with you. Hey, can, can you guys hear kid? Uh, we can hear. No. Quit say something. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm here. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, we can hear him fine. Can you hear me? Yeah. So he's on my computer. We won't be able to physically yeah. see, but yep. uh, you can talk to him. I'm right let here. Me ask, yep. Let me ask him real quick. Um, hey, Kit, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very yeah. much for joining in with us tonight. That's pretty cool, man. These guys are uh, they're praising you pretty good right now. <laughs> I wish you could hear all of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I would like to uh, um, sometime try again, you know, because I'm going to have all these guys back on the show again. I, I, I think they're they're very entertaining, um, you know, and they all got hair, which kind of sucks for me. But they're they're all very entertaining guys. And uh, I would like to have you on sometime, too. You know, your your picture came across, but it kept freezing up all the time. But there's got to be a way that we can get this set up so we can have you on. Yeah, sure. That'll be perfect because uh, you know, next time if it's scheduled, I'll uh, I'll be I'll be staying at home, which uh, you know, I'll be able to. The internet internet here at the field is pretty bad, so yeah. Hopefully, I can jump in next time. Oh yeah, I'll, we'll make sure of it. There's no doubt. You know, we've got Bud Orr on with us tonight too. Uh, I'm sure you know who Bud Orr is. If you want to say hi to him, of course. Hey Hello. man, how are you doing? Are you, good, how good. you doing, little brother? You, you, you know that's totally like Asian, right? He's a Mr. Orr. It's total respect. But you know that's and that, and that's, that's how we all are. That's how we are. That's how we grew up. Yep. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Yes. And, yeah, and that you know that's that's how it should be. You know, you notice everybody on here is smiling too. So you know oh, yeah. that's 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 a big thing. Yeah. That, that's a real big thing to me. You know. Bud and I and, and Bill, you know, we go back like a hundred years. So uh, we know each other for a long time. You know, we, we, we can, yeah. Okay. 99 then. Um, but you know, we can, 99. we can pick out, yeah, we can pick out the guys who we think are good for the sport and guys who aren't good for the sport. You know, um, I, I just, uh, I don't badmouth anybody, but I have no time for guys that aren't good for the sport. And, you know, Kit, I really wish that, that you, you could be on with us. I, I'm so glad that you could hear us, though. I, and I am, I'm looking so forward to having you on. I, I will do another show after Christmas, and I will put these same guys all back on at the same time. And then um, we'll work it out where you're at home, and then we can have you on with us at the same time so we can see you and talk to you. Oh, that sounds great. 
Hey, yeah, well, it, it, might, can, I just, uh, can I just say hi, hi real quick to Will? You can Will? say hi to anybody you want, buddy. Go ahead. The floor is yours. Will. I'm here. Are you there? Hey, yeah. hey Will. We've, we've never met, but I he heard great things about you. Hope to meet you soon. Uh, maybe next year when things are uh, yeah. back to normal. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Yeah, hey, Kit. Whose field were you standing yeah, in front yeah. of? No, this is a field at Hispanic Kingdom. Oh. Yeah, it's a it's a theme park here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Right. This is where um 2003. This is where I uh, brought Dynasty when they first came into Asia. And um, there's a OP had a had a write up regarding them traveling, having. Uh, knowing nothing about what they're what's going to happen to them wh where's the philippines and you know traveling 14 hours in the plane you know this is uh this is where it all where, where it all began oh very cool so what are you doing out there today you just out there playing or just hanging out or what no actually i'm here fixing the field because every weekend it's crazy over here so i'm trying to we're trying to fix all the uh equipment since it's um since it was pandemic all the gear was uh you know was uh you know, the maintenance so yeah i'm here fixing everything with uh some of the guys well we appreciate very much you jumping in with us tonight and you know i it was a good try i feel bad i, I definitely would have loved to have you sitting alongside of these oh, guys but yeah uh, me too we'll, do it. we'll definitely do it again <clears throat> yeah, we'll definitely do it again, and I'll definitely make sure. Matter of fact, maybe what you and I'll do uh, beforehand is we'll do a dry run and make sure we've got everything working great. Perfect, perfect, yes. Uh, I'll tell you what you do is uh, after the show, go ahead and friend me, and uh, we'll link up, and then we can go ahead and we can try it sometime before the next show. Uh, you know, I can pull you up, and we can make sure we get it all up and running great. Okay, sure. We'll do. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, it's my hey, pleasure. Hey, yeah, thank you so much for jumping in. Go ahead, hey, bud. Fred, you know, yes, you know uh, before the, when this pandemic's over and all that stuff, before I get too damn old, uh, we ought to go to the Philippines. That's an absolutely awesome place to be. All, I mean, all you got all you got to do is say, Fred, let's get on a plane and go to the Philippines. And, bud, I, we'll get I, on a plane with you and go. That's on my bucket list, but let me tell you, friend. I've been there. Hey, maybe we could drag so. some of these. Yeah, maybe Dude. we could drag some of these guys with us. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm cooking amazing. something. I'm cooking something pretty soon. I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know because uh, I want to do it again. What I. Yeah. How, how about an it. old? How about an old legends team? Would that work? <laughs> That'd be awesome. It always does. It always does. Right, Edgar? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, Edgar still looks like yeah. a kid. You know? <laughs> I'm talking about the old guys. Me and Brad, <laughs> Bill. Uh, Bill. uh, Bill's not even an old guy. The band. <laughs> hey, I got gray hair, so I'm I'm old. Hey. Yeah, look at Ferdy. Wait, Ferdy's trying to play with gout. <laughs> hey, Nick. Nick, I, I got something special here. I got Tim Schloss. He owned Tiger Strike Camouflage calling in right now. Wow. What's going on, Timmy? I want to I want to see you on the plane when you go to the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Timmy, you can sit on my lap. That's yeah, okay. Bud says you can sit on his lap <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. So, Tim, you know, um, Kit, the guy we were just talking to, is actually over in the Philippines right now. We. We tried yeah. to get him on his face on, but um, Freddie picked him up so we could sit and talk to him. It was very cool. Oh, that's neat. That's that's really cool what these guys are doing. I tell you what, I would love to play with these guys. They look like they got the right attitude. They look like they're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, Edgar was just holding up my shirt. So oh, man. <laughs> awesome. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. <laughs> we'll be sending you so I'm in if you guys want to go to the Philippines. Oh yeah, yeah! I would love to do it next next year sometime in between one of our tournaments. It'd be you great. know you could just take a short trip to Jacksonville and, and you know uh, meet up with Will. Well, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna jump off here. I know it's getting close to the end of your show. I just wanted to let you know uh, I really like what they're doing, 
Yeah, I'm ready to go to the Philippines. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, they're applauding you, Tim. Oh, hey. We need more people with that kind of attitude, man. That, that's exactly why they're on. That's exactly what I say. Uh, you, you know how I work my shows, you know? Uh, hey, you're the best. I tell you what, you got the best people. Everything is just uh, it is wonderful. I just uh, look forward to it every week watching you guys. Well, we I appreciate very much you calling in. I appreciate you watching, you know, and I'm sure these guys appreciate it too because, you know, this is one of the guys that really got paintball up and going. If you guys all remember Tiger Stripe Camel back in the day, there was no better, and it still isn't to me, but uh, the best camo out there. I totally agree. I associate with great people. I mean, no, look at you got Bud and you got Bill. I mean, gee, I mean, it's just you got great people. You surround yourself with uh, people that I enjoy being around. I absolutely I, do, I, and I, I love think, it. Uh, uh, I it's going to find you. Hey, thanks for there calling is, in. I got, it, I got to show my uh, hey, hold, tiger stripe. Tim, Tim, I got to show my tiger stripe. Right, now. Yeah. right on, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Jimmy. Right, you, you stay safe, brother. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right, well, that was Mr. Tim Schloss. I had Tiger Strike back in the day. Um, see, somebody put it up here. That that was pretty cool, Nick. <laughs> awesome. I absolutely I, loved it. I love yeah. Tiger Strike. Yeah. See, remember when I told you guys you were going to come on tonight? You guys were going to have uh, legends chiming in. To, to This is the impact that you guys are making on, on the paintball community. Bud Orr comes on. You know, Tim Schloss calls up. I'm sure Dan Colby from, from Immortal Air is watching. You know, that's that's how you build a sport. And that's that's how I build things is by bringing people together like all of you guys right now. And, uh, you know, I can't even begin to thank you guys enough for coming on tonight. Bud, jumping on like that. Uh, what do you think of these guys, Bud? Um, they're they're awesome, man. I mean, uh, what they do for the sports outside the U.S. is and in the U.S. Because you're an inspiration on how to do things. You know what I like about you guys? You got that big ass smile all the time. I mean, you're, just, you're always happy. You know, I've been to the Philippines. I work with Filipinos in the shipyard for many years, and I've never seen a grumpy Filipino. I mean, I don't know what, what's in the genes, but I'd like to have some of it. You know, you guys are incredible. I mean, honestly. And uh, I would look forward to being over with you or playing in the States with you anyway. And that um, would be, that would appreciate be awesome. that, bud. Appreciate that, bud. I can't I can't say enough about you guys. You're you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're a legend. Oh, you, uh, you guys you guys you are legends. Yeah. Please. You know, we're 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 respectful of you know where we when you know you heard kids say Miss Mr. Orr. <clears throat> we're very respectful of, you know, who uh who really made the sport the where it is today. You know, we can only be ambassadors of the sport that you guys have started and you know, you, what you got to cultivate. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's why I mentioned these guys at the beginning of my show. I don't want anybody to forget who I feel really, really worked hard at the very beginning. Because, you know, Bud will, Bud will tell you, at the very beginning, it wasn't easy selling paintball. It was no. very, very hard to start oh. with. Um, you know, Bud and I, 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 we worked a lot of years. And everybody that I mentioned at the beginning of my show are people that I feel need to always be mentioned because they work so hard at the beginning of the sport. You know, and a lot of the kids nowadays, you know, you know, they don't even remember how it started. They, a lot of them don't care, which is really sad to me. You know, I, I care about the sport and I care about the people who work really hard to make it. And I care about the same people like you guys that are going to keep carrying it on. See, that's, that's my whole, that's what I want my legacy to be is someone that, that worked hard to build a sport and someone worked hard to keep it going. Just like Bud. Bud's still here, banging away, loving it. Up oh, here we go. There's Kit. <laughs> all, all you guys oh, and, can be mine. And he's moving. He's moving. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I changed locations. <laughs> oh, that, that helped a little bit. Right on, Kit. Everybody out there, kid is live from the Philippines right now. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. How you doing, little brother? 
<laughs> I actually hung up on him, so hopefully we can hear him. <laughs> Yo, Kit, you're right alongside Bud Orr. I, I don't know if you can see the, the panel that's on there right now. We look like the Brady Bunch, but it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Or Hollywood Very Spurs, good, and you? <laughs> can can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Yeah, oh, okay. nice. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're you, happy. You finally got us. to hear you when when the show's over, which is great, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, Freddie, we're going to have another show anyhow. I'm going to bring you guys back uh, after after the first of the year, um, because you know, I I want to see how much more you've built your, your group between now and then, because I know a lot of people have watched this show tonight and uh, we'll get a lot of views between now and next week. And, you know, people are going to get very, very interested in what you guys got going. And, uh, you know, Ferdy or, or Edgar, you tell us exactly, who, you know, who can they contact? How can they contact if people want to be part of your group? Edgar. Oh, sorry. It was frozen. Go ahead. It's okay. Yeah. Um, frozen. I use that excuse, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if, if people want to get involved with your group, how do they go about it? Uh, I mean, they could. Well, you need to answer that, Will. Uh, is it through Facebook group or what? Um, I would say just Facebook. That uh, Will's I mean, uh, that Will's name um Filipino paintball is a little wide. You go in there. Okay, and so if they go to the site, then uh, Filipino paintball worldwide, then yeah. they they should be able to see who you guys are and then connect with you guys also, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because we always have players like in Sacramento, New Jersey, New York, uh, Chicago, Maryland. Maryland, Finland. 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 We gotta throw out uh, our love to Finland. Yeah, Finland, yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. Oh, yep. Shout out. We all we all we all linked up there on that on that uh on the page. Very cool. Well Kit, I gotta I gotta tell you, I'm so very glad that you finally got to jump in with us. Boy, it's okay, a, a heck of a backdrop you got right there. That's beautiful. Yeah, I, he wins, I think. <laughs> nah, I, I I say uh I say Edgar wins with the with the Manchester jersey. And then Mr. Orr. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I had heard it. I had heard it. <laughs> okay, Kit. Well, you know what, Kit? Uh, please friend me on, on Facebook so you and I can start linking up here. And I am definitely going to have you back on. And uh, because I, my show has come to an end now, but I want to uh, have you on in the future after the first of the year. These guys talk so highly uh, about you. I cannot wait to actually sit and talk with you about everything that you've got going on over there. And He's now, gonna, and now I'm looking forward to going over there. Let us know what time, the best time of year to get over there too. Yeah, yeah, let us know what's a good time of the year. Okay. Probably Christmas, weather's gonna be nice, yeah. Yep, Is that right? January, February. Yeah. Ah, cool. Well, I, right, I, like it war I like it warm and, you know, <laughs> hey, uh, you know, you said enough right there. I like it warm. <laughs> that, that works for me. Believe me. Oh, uh, wait till you get there. That's this is awesome. You'll hey, be but, warm. Uh, yeah, but I appreciate it so much you coming on tonight and supporting these guys with me. I think that was so cool of you. I right, thank you very much, and uh, say hi to all you guys. And uh, glad being on with you. It's a real honor. So, and. Yep. Uh, be, be my friend. On, friend me. So we will. We will. Definitely. All right. There you go. I, I love Thank you guys, you. and you take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, everybody. It was Mr. Bud Orr. He needs no other introduction. Um, the guy's a legend. The guy's a, a terrific friend, and one of the best human beings you'll ever want to meet. Period. So, Nick, I'm going to start with you, buddy. Uh, you know, first of all, I appreciate so much you coming on tonight. That was so cool. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I want to have you guys on again. So I'm going to let you say um, your goodbyes to everybody that's been watching tonight.
All right. I just want to say uh, goodbye to uh, everybody. A uh, little shout out to Will's Paintball in Jacksonville, Florida. Long live Paintball in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Battle Creek, West Milford, New Jersey. Very cool. All right, Nick. Looking forward. Uh, you know, friend me on Facebook, too. Yep, okay. will do. Okay, brother. Uh, you stay all safe, all right? Take it easy. All right, man. All right, brother. All right. Hey, what a great group you guys are tonight. I, I, I just absolutely love it. Ferdy, the guy that wasn't going to make it, you're next. I'm so glad that you made it. That was so cool that you got on. You know, I, you know, I rest my, bo my boss through that. So, you know, I got to thank him for, like, speaking fast. But uh, <laughs> I, I do want to say a, a shout out to uh, the, the guys back in the Philippines, um, you know, with uh, Richie. And Leo mm -hmm. and uh, one of our one of our members, Lido, uh, you know, uh, had a tragic where his his house burned up. And I want to say our our thoughts and prayers are with you over there. Uh, and if you need anything, you know, please feel reach uh, reach out to us. And I also want to say thank you, Fred, for having us on and uh, you know uh, and having you know helping us share what we're doing here in the philippines and uh, philippines worldwide well we're we're not we're not done doing that Bertie. um i'm gonna have you back on after the first of the year and we're gonna see how the group is uh faring then and then uh, right. hopefully we can get kid on with us this time uh should be uh another cool show with you guys all righty you have a great one Thank okay you. you too sir bye bye Ferdy. mr Ferdy piano well i'm glad he, that he jumped on tonight that was cool as heck because uh, i didn't think he was gonna be able to make it so I love it. All right, Will, you're next, my friend. Well, this year I'm working on uh, having Will's PB kids ages from 16 all the way to 12 years old. Now um, I have that, and we started that last week. And I have more people calling me to get into that program. It's free, basically, you know, and just love to have those uh, those kids. It's all about growing sports, you know. There you go. Oh, 100%. They are they are the future. Yeah, so. absolutely. I, I preach that every week. Yeah, and, you know, um, I want you to come back on again after the first of the year. Yeah, thank you. It, it was a pleasure uh, having, you know, meeting you guys. And I want to, before I leave, I want to give a shout out to uh, my boys in the Philippines. You got Splat Masters out there. Team Labuyo is out there. MVP. Um, who am I missing? The uh, Global Gut, they're out there too. So I want to give you a shout out. They're all watching right now. And uh, you guys stay safe. And I'll see you guys next year. Hopefully everything goes well. I'll see you guys next year. And, um, you know, I'm glad I met Edgar, Nick, and uh, and Florian. You know, it was a rough time for me to 2020. I lost my sister and my dad this year, back wow. to back. But like what this guy did is, Yes, you did lose them, but I gained friendship with them. Very yeah. cool. Right on. Well, Will, I appreciate very much you coming on tonight and look forward to having you on after the first of the year. Yeah, hey, you guys stay safe. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. All well, right, Will. Thank you. All right. Down to you, Edgar. <laughs> hey, hey, um, hey, I want to just give a shout out to a couple of guys. Um, Mark Gong, you know, for making it happen for the kids. And yeah, oh, sports. yeah. Mark's, Mark's my friend and has been for 30 some years. So, yep. And yeah, he you know, played uh, on Constant Pursuit with me. So, he's a good man. I know that I know the story on that one. I, you know, <laughs> yeah. and uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Tyler Panillo. He plays for DMG, a young Filipino uh, pro player. Uh, Quincy, thank you for supporting us all the time, you know, liking our page. And uh, just promoting the, the, the Filipino group. Uh, Al Fernandez, thank you uh, for the interview. And um, Archie Barnes, not forgetting you. You know, thank you for giving us, you know, for giving us the interview too. And uh, Capital Edge, you know, for um, hosting, for being one of the best fields in, in, in Northern California and keeping the uh, paintball alive in California. Yep. Well, right on, Edgar. I appreciate very much you coming on tonight. And look forward to having you on again after the first of the year. And, and, and Fred, thank you for having us on. You know, we're, we're excited. So can't wait to do it again. Uh, 
We'll do it like again. Like I said, I met all my best friends from paintball. You know, like I haven't no. met Will. I haven't met Nick in person, but they are like my best friends already through paintball. Very cool. Yeah. Well, that that's what it's all about, bringing everybody together and making this thing grow. And that's what we're doing, brother. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, Will and, and Bud and all these guys, you know, it, you know, look at Bud Orr taking his time to come on tonight. You know, I mean. Legend right there. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Legend. You know, this is, this is just as about as cool as you can get. But yes. Edgar, thank you so much for coming on tonight. I look forward to having you on again after the first of the year. And uh, we'll we'll bring all the same guys back. And we'll also bring Kit in. Wow. Thank you. All right. You have a good evening, buddy. Good night. All right. See ya. Wow, Billy. What a show, huh? A lot of energy there. <clears throat> what a great bunch of guys. I, I am so, so very happy we got to meet these guys. And uh, I just love it, man. I just uh, absolutely love it. James Stephen here. What's going on, James? Uh, Spike. Spike. Spike, our buddy. <laughs> Back east. Good, good man right there, I got to tell you. Yeah. So well, that was a pretty good show, Bill. Yeah, it was. It just uh it's it's really neat seeing everybody from all over the all over the world like that, you know. Yep. It's uh it just shows you just how much paintball's, you know, brought everybody together. You know? Absolutely. Oh, we got Tim calling again. Hello. Hey, you want a news flash? Yeah, I'm listening. We uh just Kevin just got to me and we got the details worked out and the date for the St. Louis tournament is the 15th and the 16th of October. Outstanding. You're, you're the first one to hear it. Well, not well, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know, everybody's still listening. Right on, brother. Sounds good. I can't, I can't wait. See ya. All right, brother. Bye bye. <laughs> you're the first one. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah everybody, wh whoever was still on, it's like a, that's like seeing yeah. the, the credits, you know, at the end of uh, the Marvel, you know. You know, there were there was forty some people live watching at one time. <clears throat> yep, yep. Were you, were you watching the numbers? No, uh, no, no. I, oh, I can just see just from all the comments. You know, oh no, yeah, there there was there was like uh, forty four people at one time watching. Yep, sweet. So. Well, right on, Billy. I think it's dinner time for Fred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great Dude, show. And that's, that's pretty cool. I was the first one with everybody else to learn. <laughs> I love that guy. He cracks me up. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I love it. Ryan Courtney. Oh, man. The show gets better. You know, Ryan, I'll tell you something, buddy. <laughs> you know, I, I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate comments like that. You know, it's, uh, you know, I'm just hanging out, having a good time. Bill's hanging out, having a good time. We just try to put good people on to build a sport. But, you know, when you take and you chime in and you say something like that, it just, uh, there's not enough words to tell you uh, exactly what that means to me. That yeah. is just absolutely cool, brother. What's, what's awesome what's awesome is now you know the the teams that were you know we're gonna play at the Chicago event they're also now they're gonna be able to play you know if there's still openings available they'll be able to play in Tim's event and right. I know we have teams that want to play in the Chicago event they've never played there before so now they'll yeah. be able to do both tournaments and that's just yeah awesome. it's, you know, and you know what's good about that is you know everybody everybody gets to go where they want to go like that you know we're not trying to uh outdo anybody we're not trying to take any teams from anybody you know i i push all the tournaments and i also push ours the wcpo yep real simple i don't down any of them and uh, i just think it's <clears> great <throat> i just uh it's all about building a sport yep you know if if uh you don't want to build a sport then you're yep. just not with me no nope, we've had I've, I've probably had, I think it's four teams registered that uh, they haven't played in years. And they're, they're players here in the Midwest that, you know, everybody have, has heard of. And, oh, they're, and they're going to love Tim's field. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's great that they're coming out. Oh, that, that, is, that is one of the best fields I have ever seen. It is God. just, uh, it's just mind-blowing. 
Oh it yeah, it is. I love it. We had a crew so. go out uh, a couple days ago with chainsaws, and they they've made even more bunkers. Yeah, um, he called me yesterday and told me all about it. Yeah, he brush was... hogging and everything. Oh, and, oh, oh Fred. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing up uh, his flag stations and everything. I've I've already built flag stations for him. You know, and very it's, cool. It's it's going to be awesome. We can't wait. Yep, not at all. Yep. Well, Billy, you have a good evening. Tell Susan I said hi. Yep, I'll tell her in the morning. <laughs> get to work on those two auto cockers. Yep, I still get to do that. It's going to be awesome. Yep. <laughs> all right, Billy. Have a good evening, right. buddy. All right, everybody, that was Mr. William Bailey. Um, I cannot thank everybody that was on my show. I cannot thank them enough. You guys made a great, great show. Um, I just really do appreciate it. And please, everybody, you know, take note, Filipino Paintball Worldwide. Jump on their site and check it out. Let it. Let them all know that you are supporting them. This was a great group of guys tonight. I think that they're they're absolutely fantastic. And I'm looking forward to doing things and working with them in the future also. So next week, I want you to be on. I'm going to talk about the, the big game I went to this last weekend. I am going to have on, oh my gosh, some great guys. I am going to have on Gumby. I am going to have on Mean Gene from, whoa, where am I at? Autocockerparts.com. Uh, like I say, if you got an autococker, talk to me and Gene. You need anything. That guy's got it, period. Cut and dry. And I am also going to have on Mr. David Justin, the Reaper. So until next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time, on Facebook, on Flagpole Productions, please play hard, play safe, play fair, get out there, and play paintball. See you then. Bye now. <laughs>